Now to China, where the government is moving swiftly to put down mass protests over a strict zero COVID policy. Security officials are patrolling streets, checking cell phones to see if people had installed so-called virtual private networks or VPNs to evade censorship. Chris Wynn has the latest from Washington. For the first time in decades, thousands of people have defied Chinese authorities, protesting at universities and on the streets of major cities, demanding freedom from the government's COVID lockdowns, as well as strict censorship. A rare show of dissent against the Communist Party's tightening grip over all aspects of life. Protesters in Hong Kong expressing their support for those on the mainland. I think everyone who has a sane mind should say something or do something to stop this unreasonable social measure. CNN has verified at least 20 protests have erupted in recent days across 15 cities on the mainland, including in Beijing and Shanghai. Demonstrators holding up sheets of white paper, symbolizing the critical social media posts and news articles that have been wiped from the Internet. China's vast security apparatus moving quickly to prevent additional protests with heavy police surveillance. The Chinese economy continuing to take a hit. They're still dealing with COVID the way we were dealing with it in 2020 in the spring, which is your choice is to shut down. And that is very disruptive to the supply chain, the internal economy. The White House treading carefully, even as it tries to mend relations with Beijing. People should be allowed the, the right to assemble and to peacefully protest policies or laws or dictates that, uh, that they take issue with. In Washington, I'm Chris Wynn reporting.